Hello everyone, welcome to my video. So in today's video, we will see what is data polling in HTMX. So before going to data polling, let me give you some brief about HTMX. HTMX is a JavaScript library with the help of which HTML can directly make HTTP request to the server and server can respond as an HTML and that updated HTML can be used directly inside HTML page. So there is no need of JavaScript framework as such. So we can replace the JavaScript framework with HTMX. So HTMX is getting very, very much popularity. So let me show you in the diagram also. So just assume this is our HTMX. Okay, and this is the page web HTML with HTMX. So after using HTMX, our HTML will be able to make direct HTTP request to the server without the help of any JavaScript framework. And then server will give updated HTML to the page, uh, to the front end. And then that updated HTML can be used inside our main HTML and updated data will be shown to the user directly. So there will be no involvement of JavaScript frameworks like React, Angular, Vue, etc. So but well, at HTMX is very small file, so just add, we have to add one file only, and our HTML will be able to make those HTTP requests directly to the server. So let's start today's discussion. So in today's discussion, we basically we are doing HTMX data polling. Let me show you what is data polling now. Okay, if we go go here, data polling means if you want an element to poll the given URL rather than wait for an event, you can use this one, and it means. There are two ways to hit the server, HTTP server. One one way is you know you trigger some event like you click or do something like in a, in case of HTML, there are multiple events we can use like mouse over, mouse out, mouse focus. So these kind of things can be used with click also. So these are the trigger events. Like oh, when you do some trigger event, then only HTTP call will be made. Made. But in case of polling, we don't need to trigger any event as such. We can directly say this one hx trigger. And every two seconds it means it front end will try to hit the server every, after every two seconds okay this scenario can be useful uh, where we want to update some regular data from the server like uh, just assume there is some match going on or something so you want to update some score on the dashboard user dashboard and uh, so after five seconds or ten seconds you you will make this these calls to the server and on the use uh, on the basis of that server will give the updated data to the front end so this can be the this can be a useful scenario case scenario for this so we will try to implement this in our code now we will set up stmx from the scratch uh, because i already have made a setup video how we can install and set up stmx but from from the, the like in this video also i will start uh, setting up stmx from the scratch so that you guys can learn easily okay so this is my empty folder i don't have anything inside it so let me open this and here i will say npm init hyphen y okay it will give me some default packagesson as you can see now i have a packagesson okay this is a blank packagesson there is nothing inside it no dependency at all so i will first install express uh, express for this because i will create uh, a server express server uh, and i will create api using express so uh, i will write npm install express okay now we will install an express now you can see express is added as a dependency in our project now we will install htmx also and now we say npm install htmx okay now htmx is also will also get in installed yes so now htmx is also added as a dependency in our project and node modules are there so everything is set up now that's the easy like easy step we can follow for htmx and now okay so now we have a uh, we have all the node modules related uh, node modules for this these dependencies now we will add some server file okay so let me add a server file here i will go in this main folder and add one file here the name will be server.js okay this is the server.js now inside it i will create a server http server basically okay guys so i have set up this http server now now we will try to run this server okay before running that we have to add script also in our package json so let me add the script here i will add the script script name will be start it can be anything and i will say node server node.js okay so this will be the starting script for us so now we will try to hit this server we will check if it is running or not okay so npm start yes so server is running guys so now we will add htmx code also so for htmx we have to add a public folder here because we will serve our html from right from here this in this folder public and then inside this public we will create a file index dot html okay so this is this will be our html file okay so now we will add some htmx code in this 
so guys i have added this html skeleton this is a normal html blank html basically so we will now we will try to run our server again and see how it looks okay sorry we have to serve this html now okay we will go go to the server.js file because we have to link link up uh, this html file in our server.js file so guys now we have to link our uh, that html to the server now we will use app.use then express dot static okay and then we have to give the static folder public like this okay now that html is, is added to our server now we will try to run this server again yes so now we can see our html using the server okay so now we will do some modification on the basis of htmx now we will write the htmx code guys so just keep your eyes on it and now we are writing htmx code so we will add some uh, here we will add some uh, div div okay now we will we will use this code as it is okay F from here this code we will use as it is okay now okay uh, instead of news we will say we will we will get some time updated time because time we can get after every every one second okay so after one second every one second we we will update this time okay we will hit this time api okay so so let me explain this code so this is saying that this is a div and here it is saying hx get so it means it will uh, this html page will make a get request on this api endpoint so time is the api api name and then it will say hx trigger trigger is for polling this attribute is for polling so it says hx trigger after every one second so after every one second front end will try to hit this api again and again okay so okay api i added api also in front of name time so time it doesn't matter you can give any name to this api okay now we will uh, we will create this api slash time api okay in our server file now okay here we will write so guys i have created this time api so this is very simple let me go through the code so we will use app.get okay we will make a get request then api slash time okay this will be this will be the name of this api api slash time and then there will be a callback function second argument so first is request and response these will two will be the parameters now we will uh, we will get some current time local time string okay and it is it is current time so and we will add this current time in in a uh, header to okay we will create some this little htmx uh, sorry html part and then we will update this up send this up updated html to the client to the browser okay as a response okay this is very simple so now we will try to hit this api from htmx okay this api is available right now and we have used this api here the, from this html now we will hit this api this is api time and this will get type api and now we will trigger this api again and again after every one second okay so this is the code and uh, when we will hit this api then server server will return this html okay and that html will be replaced uh, with this div inside this div that html will come inside this div okay so now let me try to hit the server again let me start the server again okay now guys you can see time is updating after one second okay so this is the power of htmx polling so from html directly we, we are able to hit the server after one second every time let me show you how it looks in network tab as you can see we are hitting time api after every second okay so and time api is giving us this as a response time api is giving the, uh, giving us this html portion and we are just replacing this html inside it as you can see this is our div okay which is making a api request again and again after every second here you can see and the htmx is updating this html portion again and again in our in our dom okay so every time new html html is coming from the server and that get replaced in our dom and we we are able to see the new updated html okay so this this use case can be very uh, very much useful in case of like if, if we have some uh, if we want to show some regular data from the server so in this case instead of triggering some event by manually so we will 
as you, our front end will automatically try to hit the api after given some after some time like share, if we, we are making some share market related uh, website or something so we need to show updated uh, market price so after every uh, 5 or 10 second we can just pull the da updated data from the server and then show to the user so this can be also be a use case otherwise we, for showing the data for a uh, cricket match or any any uh, football match or anything we can use this approach as well so data polling is very useful sometimes so this can be achievable in in case of htmx so now i think now you got some idea how we can use htmx as a data polling to the server okay